pronounce it. Coca-Cola says there is no public health risk to justify the change. One of the major social changes brought about by the 60s was the use of illicit drugs, especially marijuana and LSD. Psychic. Well, there you go. Psychedelia became linked with the counterculture movement, youth, rebellion, rock and roll, and hallucinogenic drugs. Now researchers at a Norwegian university have looked back at early medical trials of LSD and found evidence it could be used to treat alcoholism. Let's get more details. We're joined from Trondheim in, Nermody, but in Norway by Terry Krebs, who co-authored the study, a researcher at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. Welcome to BBC World News. Okay, hi, good to talk to you. How could LSD help in, with the treatment of alcoholism? What is it in LSD that could help? Well, let me tell you what we did in the study. We looked for all of the well-designed randomized controlled trials of LSD for alcoholism. We found six trials, 536 patients, who each, each patient either got LSD or a control treatment. We pool all the data together. There's a clear and consistent effect on alcohol misuse and on abstinence. And the beneficial effect was lasting um, six months or more after a single dose of LSD within an alcoholism treatment program. So it wasn't that, in fact, there was a risk of them becoming addicted to LSD in the process because it was almost like a substitute for alcohol? No, LSD is not considered an addictive drug. Addictive drugs like alcohol and heroin tend to help you get away from your problems. They reduce anxiety. LSD is reported to make your problems more apparent and to sometimes increase anxiety. And it is helping people to think about their problems, to have a new perspective, and to try to find new, new patterns of behavior, new, new and new insights and what was reported in the clinical trials is that patients found more motivation to participate in alcoholism treatment program and that um, that, that they found a, a, a more um, insights into why were they why did they keep returning to alcohol but I understand this was being said in the 50s and 60s. Why wasn't this advice heeded and taken up seriously then? It seems that the trials were misinterpreted. Um, some of the trials by themselves had too few patients to really make a conclusive answer. So what people have been saying is, oh, one or trial, two trials, they were showing an effect, but the other trials were inconclusive, so altogether inconclusive. But when we combine the trials together using statistically rigorous methods, what you can see is all the trials line up, and there's a very clear and consistent beneficial effect of LSD. This is what alcoholism treatment professionals were saying in the 50s and 60s. LSD was actually considered a very promising treatment for alcoholism long before it became known as a recreational drug. Terry Krebs, thank you very much for showing us, uh, talking about the results of your very, very interesting research. Thank you. Well, with all our coverage of 